Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. Good morning, everyone, and happy Friday, Junior. It's now time for weather with Ivan. Good morning, Frankfort High School. It's currently 35 degrees, but it feels like 26 degrees. At lunch, it's going to be 40 degrees, partly cloudy, and at 3, it's going to be 49 degrees. Uh, the sun will soon leave because it's cloudy, and at 2, it's going to be sunny. Back to the studio. Thanks, Ivan. In order to purchase prom tickets, each student must have a signed permission slip. Remember that tickets are $20 this week only and will return to the price of $25 on Monday. The Industrial Pallet Corporation is hiring. No necessary experience is required. You must be 18 years of age and be able to pass a drug test. Seniors, if you did not pick up your cap and gown yesterday but have paid for them, please stop by the main office before school, between classes, or after school. And if you have a balance, please bring cash and items will be delivered within the week. Applications for the 2018-2019 Frankfurt DECA leadership team become available today. Stop by the DECA room to pick up an officer application. If you have any questions, see Mrs. Bishop with any questions. Good luck to Simon Weber as he competes in the DECA stock market game at the International DECA Conference in Atlanta, Georgia. Best wishes to Ludwin Kimbera and Jenna Rockhold as they represent Frankfurt High School in the Aspire and Thrive academies, respectively. Mark your calendars. You don't want to miss the spring musical Bye Bye Birdie. The show opens Wednesday, April 25th and continues Friday the 27th and Saturday the 28th. Now time for sports with Nick. Thank you. The Frankfurt varsity softball team fought back after falling down by four runs in the fifth inning. The Hot Dogs managed three runs in the failed comeback. Morgan Dean picked up her first career home run to score two in the bottom of the fifth. The Hot Dogs were pulled within one after that home run, and Avery Drew ended up taking the loss, pitching seven innings, allowing five hits, and striking out three. The Hot Dog JV team scored early after an air produced a run. Jocelyn Markham took the loss for the JV, pitching four innings, allowing six runs on seven hits, and also striking out four. They struggled on the offensive side with Bailey Wessel producing the only RBI. Both teams are in action on Thursday at Lebanon, with the varsity playing at 5.30. The Lady Hot Dogs tennis team extended their record to 5-1 with their victory over the Wildcats. Their next match is tonight at Tipton. The Hot Dog Boys golf team opened its home golf season with a 210-176 victory over Lafayette Jeff. JT Whitlock shot a 3-over par with a 39 to secure the medalist honors. Solid performances by teammates Simon Weber, 44, Casey Klez, 46, and Drew Grismer, 47, ended up also helping out clinch the victory. The JV golf team also won their match with Sam Wilson 67 being the tiebreaker. Frankfurt travels to Crawfordsville Saturday morning to compete in the South Ma Invitational. The girls track and field team traveled Noblesville for their strongest regular season tournament of the year, and they ended up placing ninth place. The top place winners included Nayeli Alanis, who finished second in 300 hurdles, and third in the 100 hurdles. Kenya Garcia finished seventh in disc as well. The girls and boys teams are both in action tonight at Western Boone. Finally, in JV baseball action, the team battled winning conditions to win their second game of the season by beating Southmont with a score of 4-2. Eduardo Valdez pitched a solid game, almost pitching a complete game, and he also struck out 8. That's it for sports. Now back to the studio. Thanks, Nick. Mr. Payton's community is to report to the cafeteria today. Mr. Davis's community is also now in room 143. Today we're leaving you with a video of Katie Rhoda speaking about her hot dog experience. That's all for the daily announcements. We hope you all have a great day. University next year. I plan on majoring in environmental and sustainability studies as well as environmental management with the hopes of obtaining a job in the National Park Service or an environmentally conscious company. Although my high school career is quickly coming to a close, I reflect on the last four years with admiration. My favorite memory at the Jets would definitely be when I traveled to New York City with the orchestra during my sophomore year. I had no parents, it was just me, my sister, and a bunch of other orchestra geeks, and it was a blast. College seems to be approaching at an incredible
incredibly fast pace. However, I believe that teachers here are truly preparing me for the next chapter of my life, and for that, I thank you. This has been a Teamwork Without Hostility production.